I'm going to show you a quick and simple and dirty way to make drawers for your shop furniture. There's no fancy joinery. The first measurement we need is the width of our opening, 42 and 5 eighths. And we have to subtract one inch because we're going to use drawer slides and they're a half inch each. And so they total one inch. So we need to make two faces at 41 inches and 5 eighths. This, so this drawer is gonna hold tools like this. And so I'm going to make it a depth of about eight inches or so. I am using half inch plywood. I have my table saw fence set to eight inches, which is going to be how deep my drawer is. We're over here at the miter saw. I have my fence set to 41 and 5 eighths inches, which is one inch less than the opening. And I'm gonna cut both pieces at the same time. So now we're going to figure out the depth of the drawer. I want mine to be 23 inches deep going this way, but I have to subtract one inch because of the thickness of the drawer front and the drawer back and we're using half inch plywood so now we're going to cut two pieces at 22 inches long we now have the four sides cut loosely assembled here nothing's attached yet and our depth of the drawer is going to be 23 by 41 and 5 eighths. So now I'm going to cut a bottom out of half inch plywood at those dimensions. So this is our front long piece and our short side piece. I want to butt join them together with pocket hole screws and we're gonna come in from the outside. So I'm going to drill three holes on this side, three holes on this side and repeat on the other short piece. Oh, and by the way, since we're only using half inch thick plywood, I have a special half inch uh, pocket hole jig insert in here. Typically these come with a three quarter inch, but you can buy the ones for the smaller pocket holes. Before we screw this together, just gonna put a little glue on the end. Keep this together while we screw it in place. And then for the bottom, we're just going to glue it and pin nail it into place. So before we can install the drawer slides, we actually have to build out the sides so it's flush with the face frame. And I found that a piece of half inch plywood and a piece of three quarter inch plywood will put me flush. So we'll cut a few strips and we'll glue them and screw them in place where the drawer slides are going to go. And 
and that should give me the thickness that I need to build out those walls. I'm going to glue and screw the sides in here so it's flush with the face. And then just get my clamp on here. So it's time to put in the drawer slide over here. And I got a little mark measured four inches from here. That's just the number I made up. You could have the drawer slide at any point, but I have mine at four inches. I have this little jig here, which makes this a lot easier. So if I stick this in the jig and that wedges in there, that just helps me hold this up and I can screw it into place. And this little jig keeps it nice and square to the face. I'll just put a couple in here to hold it up. And now I can slide this until I expose a couple more screw holes. We already did the left side, so now we have both slides so we can install the drawer. I'm going to use these boxes as my assistant here to hold up the drawer. I'm just going to throw it in here. And so it fits snugly, but not too snugly. Snugly, snugly. It fits snugly between here. So we cut it the right size. So just using these boxes to hold it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and we'll do one screw at a time. So we'll screw in here, we'll screw in here, we'll pull it out a little bit more, we'll screw in here, we'll screw in here, and we'll pull it out a third time, screw it in here and screw it in here. And that is the easiest way that I found to install these guys. remove our spacers perfect this is going to be a drawer for all my tools that require a cord or a battery that I don't need easy access to so that's going to go down there so now we're just going to make a face that's going to cover this up and hang out over the edges a little bit and it's going to stick up just a little bit further than that so I just want to go about 10 and a half by 44. All right, so we're just going to clamp this in place. Make sure I got it where I want it. That is how I make a drawer. So, and now I'm just gonna repeat this. I'm gonna make smaller ones above it, probably about three more. That is it, thank you for watching. This is my second channel. If you are not familiar with me, I have my main channel where I have a lot more cool projects over at youtube.com slash make something. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. something.